characters on the side of KBC ready for it. And they're honestly quite far back here as the round begins. Berlin spotting out one. Fox actually gets the opening kill onto Winner, and that's Heaven completely opened up here. They're going to pinch onto this site. Berlin has no chance as he gets collapsed on by the entirety of X10. Oh, they made a huge mistake there, rotating too quickly on the duelists and just no. leaving, not really utilizing these. There goes the Boombot. Here comes the push. Winner could have a really good play, but this aftershock is gonna flush him out. And he has to dash in, but there's no time for him to whip out his weapon. And that is such a clean from X10. Surgical, clean, and basically free site. Yeah, there's just such a good sense of urgency and immediacy to the hits of X10 onto that site, knowing that um, once the first flash goes in, everybody knows how to swarm onto the site. You know, the, the peaks are on point. KPC looking to find one, he gets flashed in return, still gets the kill anyway, still blinded. He's unable to find any more than just one, leaving two members there to upgrade as they got a lot of kills on the attacking team. And they're just waiting for KPC to make a move as they know that KPC is broke in terms of economy. There's going to be so Ooh. much coming out from A main, but X10, they still have to respect that Paul Tato and Winner have the aim to be able to win those duels. Though X10 seeing the amount of of KPC on A main, decide to go for the B site and plant it down there. We'll have to see how they go for that post plant, but they're actually holding it off, not the not planning it down just yet. I'm just waiting, trying to bait anyone in. Just <laughs> not entirely sure why they're going to be pushing this far, even with the spike. Um, I guess they just want to clear it up, but. It's a rude awakening for Scary right there as Berlin down, B. and Winner take down one each. Boots one tap is the only player left standing here. That's four rifles that they have relinquished already. And now Boot one tap, his location is known. He gets one. Trying to find a few more here, but he's definitely in a rough spot. Look at KPC. They're all grouped together as four. They've spent the whole round just hanging out as a group and getting kills onto X10. Very questionable push for X10 onto CT. Um, I, I do think that they could have had this round for sure, uh, but they sort of just let it slip. But look at this, who on top? Trying to get a little bit clever here. He's going to find a couple. Oh, no, the bot is going to give away his position. Now his location is known. This round is basically over in a very, very, really, very strange round. What? He gets it through the box, though, but it's pretty much done here in the end. He makes it expensive, but it was an eco round anyway, so well done for KP. Still cannot get the W on that, and... It's going to be the push out as it seems like X10 will be waterfalling onto the site and Sushi Boy, well, you know what? His name's Sushi because he knows how to knife his way into these fights. Berlin is going to be in a really cheeky situation, but if he gets this kill, he could actually have his ultimate. No, gets stolen immediately by PBDBJ as Cedric is in a one versus one battle on the heaven side, leaving it all to Berlin with 12 HP and a dream. But is the dream true for him? He can he make it into a reality. He spots the one off already, but there's so many angles and his placement has been spotted. That was a beautiful paranoia and no way can he clutch that. No. They are situated here on the BB area. Who wants up is there? Here comes Berlin with the fury of the showstopper, but he had to bait Spot his down, opponent. Mid. It doesn't matter though, because Berlin and Winner are dissecting the members of X10 once again. It's not the time stand anymore, it's the divided by 10, as it seems like they are wreaking some havoc. But as I say that here, Illustrato Sushi Boys comes alive with that big alert coming from the A ramp. Scary is gonna try to utilize his ultimate just to get that information that nobody is clearly on the A site. Now, slowly but surely, they are gonna be clearing out these angles and they will be able to plant down that spike also out here into the corner while the rest of the X10 members go position for that post plant. Just uh, ulti from the shadows for good measure. A little bit superfluous in the end, but it helps them secure what could have been a very dicey round. It's still a 2v3, so this is still possible for KPC. They might elect to save these guns because they actually did just pick one of them up here. No information for Berlin just yet as he tries to swing into sight. He gets a good kill onto Sushi Boys. Unable to be traded out right there. Scary gets the kill onto Paul Tato, leaving it in 2v1. Berlin, he's crazy. He gets one, but none. And comfortable position to just start rampaging, but if the KPC will try to go aggressive here, there will be the catch off from Scary, and Berlin's just not going to be able to hit that. KPC's winner is here with his own ultimate. PBDBJ is going to be onto the side. He sees the 
uh, weaponry and the charge, and he has to know that somebody is on his corner, and he just devours both Cruz and Scary. That is a big play coming in from KPC, and this mid control works into their favor. Sushi Boys has to pick it up because the spike is dropped right there. He has his teammate Pooh one tap coming in from the side as well, but they don't really have the utilities to flush the opponents out. Maybe a Sage Wall, maybe a kill for for Sushi Boys into the lockdown, but that's more than in or that actually might not be enough. To take them out. I'm really liking the unorthodox plays here from KPC. They're stacking men and so many of them coming out to play. You know where who one tap is. He gets full flash. He still gets the kill. Gonna be a little bit bitter pill to swallow. PPDBJ. He gets the flash, but still, he still gets taken down. I wouldn't be happy about that at all, but still Poo on top. 30 seconds left. If he can get one more kill, he could get the res and make this possible. But with 25 seconds left, I don't really favor his odds. He gets stunned too, and winner is so close. You can almost smell him. Gets the angle on one. There is KPC having three ultimates themselves. There's the Rolling Thunder and their own lockdown. They can use that, but... I do really like how KPC is starting to work their way onto mid. They want to get the pinch coming in. It's going to be PB, PBDBJ rushing from market, but Scary is here. He could have such a prime spot. If he can take down these two defenders, then KPC will have no ability to just go in from the behind. But they charge right in. They just forego the market area. Berlin gets one with his uh, pain shells there, but Fox still is holding true at the back of the side. Now, Scary is going to go for the big pinch, but Paul Tato finally finds him true. Now, the lockdown's not going to get stopped, as it will push out the members there. Fox. Oh, pros on fake, pros on fake, and Berlin is going to be the team. But at what cost as every single member of or Sushi Boys, they just dissect it with precision and it's really detrimental to the rounds that KPC want to get. Deck 10 here. They're going to be pulling off that same play yet again on the eight. They've, they've done this a number of times here, but fortunately for them, they get the spike down. Winner gets another oh. before he drops. That's a really good play from him, but he gets the spike in an awkward position. Finds another spike drop here. Berlin. Has a good spot, has a boom bot to work with, knows where one is and knows where the other. Can he win the duels is the big question. They're just jiggle peeking, toying with him right now, but Berlin, he's not afraid to step up to the plate. Pulls out his pain shell and that's going to buy him a little bit of time though and buy a second to breathe for one of these players. Both of these players actually in Sushi, Sushi Boys, what's the call here? Is he rising up? And it's gonna be Berlin to rise up to the- Kind of sauce. Wait, 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 before, before we go on, two okay. ultimates just used. <laughs> before we talk about Asurai's cooking show right here, big ulti from Fox, not gonna be Ooh. used properly. Cedric here will respond with an ulti of his own and he's going to get taken down rather quickly in X10, completely overwhelming KPC leaving Berlin in another 1v3. He has to clutch for his team. This round was quick, but now it's coming down to a little bit of a little, excuse me, a little bit of a plateau as the round sort of just a little bit of a breath here. It gives Berlin a chance to think and regroup, but they know where he was and there's not a lot of places he could be coming from. He can land the headshots though and finds a lot of damage there on the scary. Still has a lot to go, but getting out of dodge from that nade, two flashes will actually prevent him from getting any more, any deeper into the site here. It's a good boom bot, but ooh, he gets tagged oh. through the wall. Not a lot of damage though, still. He can actually get a kill. His ultimate's gonna be up and ready, and that could have been more. Here with a four round lead going into split. That's not a pretty picture right here from KPC, and they're going to be trying to head into the A site, but that's a quick kill right there from Fox and Cruz. They double up right there and get one kill apiece. The Paltato's right there to respond. Spike is going down shortly. And this will begin the retake. 3v4 on pistol here, and it's very, very doable. Suji Boys knows where one is, and PBDBJ gets one. Who wants out, follows it up, and that's a second in a row for PBDBJ. He's gotten two, but he needs to find two more to close out the round, and time is not in his favor right there. He's gonna get double peek, and he's gonna swing wide right there. Scary closes out the round, and that's the pistol victory for X10. Big factor is 
that they made so much, they used so much ability just to take a little bit of that A main side, and this might not even look too well for them. Scary does get taken down, but at the end of the day, it's still no map control for KBC. Hold that thought though, BBDBJ is going to be able to take down Fox. Cruz will get overwhelmed, as the Spectre is just not going to be enough. But the damage be done, the big black's coming in, and it seems like X10 are still here. Sushi Boy does have his Vandal in hand. Suppose that nobody is left because the turret is there. Larnbot spots him out. Has to back away. 11 bullets in a dream. And he found the timing. The opening oh. that he needs to. And he pierces Paul Tato at the back of the billboard. And now only one to find. One to the corner. And if he can just flick to the side, he might have been able to take this omen to the... Pensive, mind you. So look at this. The economy really in tatters for KBC. They're making it work, though, as... They do get one kill with that Bulldog here. They do have some modicum of control towards mid. Oh, but look at the flank here, though. Cruz is going to get that pick off onto Berlin. That's all the way from Sewers, and that's a big kill to find. They have a lot of information that nobody's A, and that most of them are towards mid. KPC has to win these aim duels if they want to progress. Know that they can, but there is still a lot of slowing power that is available for X10 if ever they do decide to use that. That Nano's one going to be able to pop, not going to happen. This is the second time. Now there's the main four, scary, and he's just going to try to line it up, but Paul Tato picks it back up once again. If you also the one versus one, that was, I would say, pretty greedy from X10 to utilize the ultimate to bait out and just hope that you're going to be... Uh, winning the duels? Is he able to knock it up? I think he was, but it's going to be Ring Around the Rosie, the endless game of hide and seek, and Paul Tato oh! is going to go up top! To the site has been when Cruz was soloing A, um, but now they've yeah. actually relegated him, relegated Tushi Boys to holding A, and that's a really good idea, especially when KPC has been shown to go A a lot, and they're going to do it again here, going full A. They're going to be ready for it this time around. They're sacrificing control over heaven. And that ultimate's not going to have a lot of impact at all here. Paint shell to slow them down, but Fox, what can he do? That's going to be a beautiful showstopper to the face. Gets taken down from heaven, though. That's the point of that map control. Sushi Boy still holding onto that site, anchoring it firmly as he gets another one. But that's going to be the ulti. He could find a third. He's going to get... No, it's Paul Potato to trade that out. And how is he still alive? I agree, because I just feel like they have that edge to just challenge everybody. Of course, you're not going to only have one to take that B, uh, B orb. There's going to be multiple setups into the corner. There's going to be another flash, but Berlin does react in time. It's still not going to be worth it in the end as Cruz and Pooh one tap. Destroy the oppressors coming into the B-long area. Fox also finding with Potato as he drops down on Hookah, leaving it all to Cedric and Winner, who don't really have any time of day to get into the site. 20 seconds have been left, and Pooh one tap is on the prowl, on the hunt, and he is on right into the back of the site. Actually, to the back of the spawn, and X10 gets the plant on the spike as well. This is going to be such a kerfuffle, a brutal fight. But in the end, it's only the one kill, and uh, Cruz pays the price. It's still going to be the defuse, but X10, they got the spike planted down. Oh, sorry, well, they they need to do this weird rounds on gun rounds, honestly. They can't just do this on Eagle Vice because... If maybe they had the rifles or SMG, that could have been something oh, different. That's gross. But you know what? There's, it's not going to be different. We are treated to the same play style that Pooh one tap has done yesterday. And you know what? We're gobbling it all up. Cruz also finding one, thinking, Berlin, I'm going to be able to charge right in. I'm a sneaky beaky boy. But Cruz knows what's up. Scary has to back away here as the... Well, Seekers come out and they are just charging right in. Sushi Boys, though, utilizing his uh, camera. Just to at least know if PPDBJ is going to be charging right at him. Still got to be careful, though. They are going in aggressive. Can he get the kill here? Yes, he will. But Cedric is all by his alone. He gets shot from Shao. He gets shot from Lamps, honestly. And if PPDBJ's uh, flash is... They got to explode. I think that's one of the reasons that they can get into the site and even win it. But who wants that? Says otherwise, the flash, let's see. Oh no, he gets out of dodge. No, he does not. Winner is right there to pick up the double kill, and that opens up A completely. But hold on, the utility usage from X10 is perfect. 
making up for almost everything that they lost. They got the Molly and that ultimate right there to break up two members of KPC. Now the retake here beginning. They do have the Rolling Thunder if they so elect to use it, but the recon to give some information out. Should be a matter of time before they use it. That, yeah, that's it. The Rolling Thunder coming out here, flashing in. They get the opening kill onto Paul Tato right here. Two members left standing. What can they do? They have the information on one. Winner goes down. Berlin trades him out. And Fox trying to go for a fake here, but Berlin's not biting. And it's Berlin yet again to save his for him. Lots of rotations from KPC here. Still want to go for the A side, but oh my god, they have to really beat the corners as Pooh one tap is just going to punish them if they do not. That's twice in a row that Pooh one taps done that. I mean, what's the point of having three duelists, especially a raise, if you don't clear that corner? Fire's out. It's just such a big waste. They lose one player before they even go. They lose two players now before they even really make any progress towards map right control. Here. and Could be a little bit too little too late now, and they're going to try for a hookah play, but... They're still holding two players strong here onto this B right site, here. leaving one person on the side of KPC that's winner, trying to warp mid a tiny bit, preventing maybe some recon or teleport plays. I don't know, man. That's right. It just seems a little bit messy for me. Well, Kentucky <gasps> Pride Chicken. Oh, no, look. I'm kidding. That's not, that's not how KPC means. Winner, he really wanted to go for that corner there, but oh, what are these angles that X10 are fighting? They just find KPC at the seams, and KPC don't seem to be able to... I just because they're always being pressured. Maybe to counter F2 one tap. Oh, the big whip right there. KPC's winner. He gets two big kills. And this is an eco round, everybody, that they might have just picked up, leaving spike. two members left standing on X10. The plant is good for them right now. It's going to go uncontested. Fox gives up his position right here. Going to be knocked and booped in the head by that pain shell. Fortunately, he gets away in the nick of time. That still leaves us in a 2v5. Well, you wanted Winner to have uh, an operator, right? And he says, Illustrato, I got you. I'm going to procure it not by buying but by taking it from the cold, dead hands of my counterpart here. Fox has been spotted out, right but Cruz is going to be in the corner where you can see so Winner's done. vision is looking straight outside the showers. Cruz can be so, so detrimental here for uh, KPC. They don't even have to win the round. They can make it expensive, but expensive and maybe even the W as it's going to be Fox coming up big. Not going to have enough time. Maybe he can save the operator here. Run for dear life. Not going to work out in the end. That's going to be a trifty win. Now, because they've forced all those rebuys onto KPC's side, they're going to have to reinvest. And if they lose here, it could not may mean an ego for these guys but the good opening picks right here berlin and winner the duelists of kpc doing work towards a will they expect fox here in showers yeah they will no fox gets the kill who on tap chimes in with one of his own of sushi boys is right there for the backup now it's a 2v2 the round aggression just won't stop from these two teams they figured out where they are. They know the Sobo was still on showers. They knew that the big flank from Sushi Boys has already allowed him to pierce through on A short. And they run all the way to the B side. Extent is sweeping up the area here. But they're going to be late to the party. Still, this spike will be planted. planted. They're going to know. They're going to hear. I've got look at that. Train. The timing from Fox is just so, so well placed. Although, this is where the Seekers tend to show their worth. Fox, we see you. The Seekers have sniffed you out. And now we know that you guys are coming from Hookah as well as Spawn. And all KPC have to do is just wait. Berlin trigger discipline is going to be key here. But he really wants to give the one up to Fox. And now these leaves oh no. Cedric to his own devices. And the Hunter's Fury is just going to devour him. That is not... So good at getting the first pick. Let's see if he gets this opening pick here. And yet again, he does. Find the first kill. Unable to adjust on the second one, has to dash away. Will they expect Sushi Boys back his teammate up in the corner? It's a very likely possibility here. Sushi Boys could go for a swing. But they're going to play it safe now. See, there's just so much utility. I don't know why Berlin doesn't just use the Boombot. Like, like the Boombot onto the teacup on mid. Like, it would have helped them so much to clear out that angle. But instead, they dry peek the upper twice. I mean, they also have Cedric, who has the... Uh, gosh, what's that? Oh, Trailblazer, the Tasmanian Tiger, yeah. the dog, as people like to call it. Anyways, Winner is going to at least procure a couple of picks here outside of B main as he is going for the big lurk. But uh -oh. the thing about that, though, is 
He does not know that he is being lurked on his lurk. It's the lurkception, ladies and gentlemen, as Fox finds him. Sly, sneaky Fox does it once again. And PB, PBJ and Cedric are left to remain. And they plant down this spike. Does he even know? Oh, yeah, everybody's there. <laughs> nope. That was awkward. He, if he survived, he could have actually used his orbital strike. But it might not have been needed to because there is going to be the rolling thunder. Oh, did he see the footsteps there? No, did he, he see didn't. that he was on the right? No. Nice play oh. right there. He gets away from the rolling thunder. And his teammate actually does as well. So it's a bit premature on the rolling thunder there. Pull one taps still as a vandal. What can he do? Tries to get in closer towards lamp lamp. He might find an angle here. It's a good flash for the meantime to slow the pace down. DBDBJ will respond with another kill. Good paranoia. Now he knows that Puwan Tap is blind here, but they still don't want to give that peek. They don't want to give him an itch. And it's going to be Cedric to close out that round. Good early in the round. Every single time, it's just not his game right here. Sushi Boys, quick pick off right there. Will be checked in the corner. He knows where. Look at that disgusting flip. He finds another. He has no business staying alive that far. All up to Paul Tato. Can he get the kills that he needs? He hasn't gotten very much thus far. I think he only has one right now. He's going to have to come up huge for his team this time. Finds one. That's the tap he needs. Still has a long way to go. And who one tap from up above? Um, he's going to swap out of here once he gets the kill. Quiet now. Yep, there we go. He's, he might switch again. Get another kill. Yep, he's just making it easy. In the shooting gallery right here, basically duck hunt is happening over here in Hookah. Still not electing to drop it because he's still getting all the kills he needs. That's three, almost four. KPC manages to take down Cruz, but that's only one kill in a 2v4. Not exactly the best of situations. Gives up on the blades for now. He gets tapped up and able to dash out. No, Sushi Boys. Ruins winner's day right there. Updraft was just not enough to keep him alive from it. Swatted like a fly. Cedric has been spotted out. Oh, that was just the neural step. 30 seconds left on that timer. And then a four versus one with Cedric being a... Uh, being a sky. Sky is not the limit here as he is definitely constricted left and right, back and forth. He does get the one, could actually deny who wants up there. But I mean, up and away to kind of counter them out. Voltado is on the hunt. He really wanted to charge this right in. But the flashes as well as that Cloudburst did not do any favors for his blind. Although Omen will be charging right out. He could have a nice little pinch, but he goes in too over aggressive. And KBC, they need to put a bit of stop as everybody's just rushing right in. Bum rushing is not the way to go when you're on the defending side. And Berlin left again to his own device in a four versus one. Charges right out. He doesn't get the kill though, and he's missing the bullet. Finally gets a shutdown on the scary, but at the end of the day, 21 HP. He does still have his utility. But, 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 there is too many opponents. The only dream that he has, the only advantage that he has, is they're all low. At the end of the day, he's positioned. So, it seems like they're trying to break records. Last round, it was only six for KPC. This time, it's, uh, they're looking to end this with about three. I do like the positioning for PBDBJ, but he's not able to at least deal that much damage. Although, with the help of Berlin, maybe he just picked it right back out. These smokes are about to dissipate in a couple of seconds. Berlin just has to wait. Knows that one, one is on the bench. He spots out one. Nice little flank. Can he turn around and shut down Sushi Boys? Berlin is up to the task and the skill is exuding. Cruise to remain. Gonna remain for not a long time. And KPC still holding the best in the long range positioning. Anyways, Blue One Tap has already pierced through the back of the side. Someone is right in. Might be able to get this one insta kill. It's gonna be a blackout. Charges right through. This is gonna be very brutal, but that's gonna be the one for one trade. As this is it, KPC, they have to dig deep, or else this is tournament life on the line. They're actually winning this left and right, and Cruz has an ultimate. He can wait for the pop spike. He's not gonna get blinded. He's charging right out. That nade's gonna deal so much damage, and he made a mistake. There's still plenty of time, and you know that he cannot, cannot not deal with the one to the right. Setting up so many rounds for his team. Be able to open things up. Winner straight up losing the duel. I don't know why he would peek before the flash comes out. But fortunately, Paul Tato is right there to sort of bring it back. He sees the spike, and the spike has not been recovered yet. He dashes ahead of him. Oh my god! Oh, fortunately, PBDBJ is watching his back.
but that could have gotten very... In the meantime, X10, it feels like they're toying with their food a little bit, isn't? don't they? Could be. Maybe they're just charging right out, or maybe they're playing this... And not pause oh, just to maybe slow the pace down, maybe to prevent KPC from getting too much momentum. But that's a flash and a half, just throwing flashes towards you, Hall. PPDBJ had no chance in that one. It's a quick hit towards A, and this is how they feel they might be able to end the game here. If they can do economic damage, that would be just fine as well. But they're now signaling for the retake to begin. Paltato looking to go for a flash play. Not really finding anyone right now, but one tap still with the judge making it happen in laps. Don't know why they're forcing the issue. It's a little bit too contrived at the moment, but winner is Thank able you. to bring it back. Fox taking down Paltato, still unable to win those no duels run, here. Run. Tapping the bomb, tapping the spike. They do have a hunter's fury to slow down the pace. It's not gonna matter 